Hey guys, we're back. Today, we're coming at you with my favorite case for the iPhone 16 Pro Max so far. And if you watch one of my previous videos, my top five cases for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, this case made number one. So let's get right into it. It all fits in this really small box. And this is the Arc Pulse. So not much to the packaging. They kept it nice and compact in this recycled box. It's just designed by Arc in the Netherlands. This is for the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Let's get right into it. Now, the backstory behind this is I wanted to get the gold phone this year. Yeah, it was the new color, but I just couldn't see myself with a gold phone for an entire year. So I didn't pull the trigger. I got the black one. Super happy that I did because now I can make it gold. Let's see this. Fill your phone. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So here it is. This is the case. In the polished gold, let's get the teeny tiny box out of the way. And we got two pieces. This is dual layer protection. So we have the outside polished aluminum. And on the inside, this is a nice rubber shock absorbent material. So it's gonna add some protection on the inside and the outside. And you just press it on. Just like that. So that material on the inside, like the rubberized material, will almost kind of suction cup to your phone. So once this thing is on there and you press it on there pretty tight, it's not going anywhere. So we have that designed by, oh, no, nope, just says Arc Pulse right there, if you could see it. Slap that on there. So now, I have the gold that I wanted, but just as an accent. So I just think this looks super tough. You got the black titanium with the gold case on it. I think this is the gold standard. Uh, last year, I had the natural titanium with the matty black. And I thought that looked great. And then the year before that, I had the polished silver for the iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, one of the reasons I love this case is just the style. You can feel your phone. You know, we always talk about how great the materials, the iPhone has been for the longest time. And then we just slap a plastic case on it and we don't get to really feel those materials. But when you have a case like this, that's, you know, kind of designed for style, you can actually see and feel your phone the entire time, the way that it's designed to. So that's what attracted me to this case and it's brought it back to me for multiple generations in a row, but also because of the protection. Now, I've dropped this 15 Pro Max a ton of times. I don't know if you could see kind of the dents or scratches that we have up on this case. All over. I've dropped it on like every edge. And the phone is in perfect condition. So there's people out there that are going to say this case is not going to protect your phone at all. Your phone is going to break. Not true. I've had this phone on for the 14 and the 15 and both phones are flawless. So the protection on here is excellent. If your phone is going to fall, it's going to naturally just lean to one of these corners. And even if it doesn't, if it does fall on the side, you have a nice barrier in between there. So this phone can straight stand up on its side and there will still be that space in between. It's a small space, but a space nonetheless. 
So if it's going to land on one of these corners or the side, it's going to hit these claws that protrude out and it's going to protect your phone. You can also fit a screen protector on here as well. I don't have one on this phone. I don't usually use screen protectors. Uh, my son just threw my wife's 16 Pro and she had a screen protector on it, shattered that. Uh, so maybe I should get one with that little munchkin running around, but uh, I don't let him hold my phone as much as mom does. Uh, but uh, so the style, the protection on here uh, to me is excellent. And as far as the actual design it lets you get to that camera control button without any deterrence any distractions so i love that about this phone as well is those sides are open and it wasn't as big of a difference it was more just kind of like a comfort feel to to the phones before but now that we have this extra capacitive button uh, that makes this case even better for me. And it's also super lightweight. So it's not like you have anything bulky on your phone. If it's in your pocket, I mean, these phones are big enough, to, especially for me. I live in Southern California where I wear shorts a lot throughout the year. And this doesn't add a bunch of extra bulk in my pocket. So this is 17 grams and for comparison, I got a couple other cases here. Uh, this is the Spigen uh, Ultra Hybrid T with that camera control button. We'll have a video on this one here soon. This is 40 grams. And then even this super thin, lightweight Aramid fiber case that is like next to nothing. This is 28 grams. So even compared to both of these, 17 grams is literally nothing. So another positive point. Uh, one more is the ability to use MagSafe accessories. So it just leaves the magnets open that you can go ahead and just throw your wallet on there. You can obviously attach the MagSafe magnets on there. You can throw it up onto uh, a MagSafe mount so if you have say a battery like this or a nighttime stand it's gonna stick right on there you can go into obviously standby mode uh, with this case as well so that that fits perfectly but one thing that kind of wasn't great for the 15 Pro Max compared to that's now fixed on the 16 Pro Max and it doesn't have anything to do with this case. It's the size of the phone is the MagSafe ring has more of a gap up here at the top to where I have this pretty bulky, it's only a 5,000 milliamp Qi 2 battery charger from Mophie. It's got a stand on it and on the 15 Pro Max, although you can get it to sit up like this, there's still that room in between there that, it, I mean, if you just have it propped up, it's not that big of a deal. But if I'm trying to watch a movie in landscape mode, I really can't get this thing to stick. There's just not enough clearance on the sides. You see that? And on the 16 Pro Max, that is now solved because of that clearance. So it's on there, it's charging, and I don't have to worry about it not actually being MagSafed on there. So boom. Again, that doesn't have anything to do with like an improvement to the case, just more of the phone uh, with the extra headroom. So, uh, Bigger MagSafe accessories are not going to get in the way uh, with this phone, and that's another positive for me. So, next is the price. Uh, you know that uh, that's where we run into an issue. 
uh, not for everybody. I mean, this matte black case uh, that you can get is the cheapest color. So every color is going to differ. There is the matte black that is $69.99. There's also that silver that is $89.99. There's a graphite which is like a polished gray. It would look great on the natural titanium or even the white. I mean, probably most of the colors really, except for the desert titanium, I think. That one is $99.99. Uh, there's a rose gold that pushes up even higher uh, that would look great on the natural titanium. And that one is $109.99. And then you have this gold. This one is $129.99, which is steep, but I, I said I would never you know, buy this case before, the gold one at least, just because of the price, but it looks so good uh, for me, especially on this black titanium phone. And that's not where it stops. Uh, there's also a, another color option that came out this year, and you have to join a wait list because it's so expensive, it is the Titanium Onyx Black. So it's a black that is polished, it's not the matte, and that one is $299. Again, you gotta join the wait list. So they're probably not producing them in mass. As soon as they're getting an order in, you know, they might make it. And, you know, this case can get steep. To me, the matte black in for the $69.99 uh, I, I think that's a pretty solid actually uh, for what you're getting the style and the protection versus you know something you know like these other cases out here these case defies even the mouse uh, I'm testing the mouse right now and I think this was 65 bucks so pretty decent case uh, I'll have a, a review on that as well uh, but the price to me isn't too off from what a lot of these competitors are and the you know I, I don't know if you care about this but just kind of the comments that you get from people oh my god what case is that uh, it, it's just a conversation piece as well so uh, that might be lame to you uh, I don't know but take that for what it's worth uh, so I also have a discount code uh, and a link down in the description that you can at least get 10% off so if you are interested in this case, uh, please take a look at the links. The discount code is BuckLifeTech10 for 10% off, or you could just click that link uh, and get that 10% automatically. So that's it. Uh, I've shown you guys this case for a couple years in a row. You can watch my old videos and uh, the opinion is probably not gonna change too much. Uh, I've loved it ever since I first got it. Uh, I wanted to go caseless on my phones, but mostly because they were getting so heavy with the stainless steel casing on them that they were just huge in my pocket and, and weighing me down. But then I found this super lightweight, you know, let me feel the design and color and appreciate my phone more. And I've been happy with this ever since. So what do you guys think about the Arc Pulse? Leave comments down below. If you like what you've seen, please hit subscribe and like so that we can get more engagement and spread this channel even further. But until the next time, it's Buck Life. Peace.